Hello everybody, on the reel here, and today I am playing Evermerge. This is a merging game, and it's like a fantasy-themed type game. You basically start by breaking down, like, these mines, and then you get little trees, or, you know, like this, little tree thing. You break those down, you get chests, but at the same time, while you're breaking them down, you get other materials, and you use those materials to merge them and create houses and... Over here we have flowers. See, we have like these coral reef type things. It's a really fun game. And today's video is going to be my five tips on how to succeed in the game. This game is fairly easy. We, they do have events, so I'm gonna mainly focus on events because that's where I have struggled because if you look here, we're in an event right now. And I always get to like this point usually and then like I can't, like time runs out, right? So right now I'm on pretty good pace to make it all the way and get this final reward, which is like uh, unlimited energy for I think it's like 30 minutes or an hour. I don't remember exactly how they do it. They also have this VIP thing that they're gonna have coming up, which is basically, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like, so you pay monthly or something, and then you get access to extra rewards. A lot of apps are doing that nowadays, which is fine because it's so hard nowadays to find an app that isn't like invading you with ads, just flooding your face with ads. Like every time I download an app, it's like the second I get an app, or I'm sorry, an app, an ad, I literally just uninstall it. I get so annoyed because it's just like, I can't play the game like that. It's so annoying. And I just feel like it's like spamming my phone like crazy. So yeah, I just, I've been trying different apps and I can't even make a video on anything because all the apps right now in the app store are like just flooding you with ads, you know? So anyways, this is one of the games that's not like that, which is nice. There, I mean, they have options you can watch ads sometimes. They'll give you an option like to speed up a time, but it's optional. It's not like like certain games where like, oh, you beat a level and then boom, you, you're forced to watch an ad. You can't even skip it. And it's like a minute long or something. It's ridiculous. So this type of game I like as far as like where they choose to put ads and how they're like how they're going to come out with this VIP thing. So that way they can make money like that. Because, of course, you know, it is a business and they have to make money. So whatever. <laughs> Okay, so let's get down to the top five things I think that is important to succeed in this game. Number one, when you merge, obviously you need three things to merge. However, if you notice, down on the right here, I have these orange flowers. So I'll just use this or even over here, these wow. four like wagon things. Wow. I have four of them. I could merge three and I can get wow. one of these, but I have four. So I'm going to wait until I get one more. Oops. And then I can get two. So instead of getting, you know, so basically for five, you get two instead of six. So you kind of like are saving materials in that sense. Also, my chests, I'm saving them right here for now because right now I don't, I don't need to open them. And they have events where it's like you get points for opening chests. So I, oh my God. Sorry about that. So I... So there's events with opening chests, and I always save them for those events. That way I can get maximum points, because if you don't save them, you're going to be stuck trying to get a bunch of chests, and you know if you do that, you're not really going to make it in time to complete the event. So this event that I have right now is a gnome rush. The gnome rush is basically you complete buildings, and you earn, and you win prizes. Also to note, when you are repairing your mines, it counts as, uh, you know, completing buildings. So every time you use the mine and you have to repair it, that counts. You can get some major points that way. So I suggest always doing that. So just deplete your mines until you have nothing left and then repair them. And it takes, once your mine is like three starred, it takes like about an hour and a half to repair. But it's so worth it, you guys. Like, you get so many points like that. Also... I knew the event, they give you advance notice when the event's going to come up. Like, they'll give you, like, 18 hours or 24 hours notice. So, I always just wait. I don't build anything yet. And I just try to, like, keep, like, right here, see? Like, you just keep it grayed out for a bit. And then you wait until the event starts. And then you start building. Or you could also um, merge everything until you get these bigger ones. Because these ones give you more points. All right. So, what number am I on? <laughs> oh, my God. I just give you guys, like, a bunch of tips. I don't even... See, this is what happens when I don't organize myself. Okay, so tip number one, try to use, try to do five, five pieces per merge. 
Tip number two, use your minds and repair them for events. And always try to save like your chest and things like that. Okay, let's just say that's one and two. Okay, so tip number three would be to save your gems. And I, I mean, I don't know everyone to each their own, but I use my gems to speed things up. For example, um, like right here, I could do two gems to speed this up, but I mean, I have a minute left, so I'm not going to do that. But I do that when I am either cutting it close or for my daily objectives. One of the things was to spend rubies. So, you know, you need to spend seven rubies to get ten. So I like to do that. Number four is to always complete your daily objectives because this gives you a lot of points. And if you do it throughout the week, so today I get this reward right there. But tomorrow I'm going to get this mm. big chest, which gives you a bunch of great stuff. So that's totally worth it. So make sure you guys are doing that every day. And it doesn't take a long time. So it's actually pretty, this game is pretty chill. Like I really like this game because it doesn't like demand a lot of you. And it's just relaxing. Mm. Okay, so my fifth and final tip I would say is to complete your orders. And when you complete your, your orders, save your coins. So see how I'm saving mine? Slowly, I'm trying to get them higher to a higher like coin. Watch, so I'll show you right now in my discoveries because I just happened to finish the this final coin here. So I was able to merge it all the way up. Try to do that, and it's gonna take a while, and it's gonna take a lot of patience, but it's so worth it, because once you do that, you get 810 coins for just one of those. So worth it. But of course, if you need it now, you know, obviously, then just get it, collect it. Um, same thing with the wands. You see this, 1,215 for these wand, I don't know what they're called. I don't know if it's called experience or what, but see, I still need more to un block this little area but yeah it's so worth it you guys if just to wait have some patience also to note right now these little flower things they don't count towards events so don't even bother trying to like build those up those you get like these little clover here these little clover rewards or whatever points but when you fill this up you do get like chess and little rewards so i mean when you're not in an event it's worth it but when you're in the event i would say try not to spend your energy on those because there's other things going on <laughs> um and I, I have some right here see these chests I'm just not opening them yet because I made that mistake already once and it like flooded my whole map with like flowers and I was like oh my gosh so <laughs> yeah so yeah you guys those are my five tips sorry it was a little like disorganized but I haven't made a video in a while so yeah I'm gonna try to get back into it okay so I will see you guys next time I hope you enjoyed the video okay bye Yes, I did.